Hello students, today we are going to learn accessibility option. This is the session 1 of unit 4 web application and security. So let's start. See first of all we are going to understand that what is accessibility option. See children, accessibility means how to access or use the computer system on its devices. So you can see here. Computer accessibility refers to the user friendliness of computer system for all regardless of their disability and whatever the technology working behind it that is known as assistive technology. Here in this session it is especially described that how these are useful for the impaired people. Yes children impairment means disabilities. So there are many types of disabilities or impairment that impact computer users. Okay, now we have some of them are like that cognitive impairment. These are related to reading, writing, learning. Okay, such as dyslexia and ADHD. Now second is visual impairment. Somehow people is facing some problem or suffering with some problem with their eyesight that considered a visual impairment. After that, one other is hearing impairment. In this, whatever the problem related to hearing that comes under this category, partial or full deafness or something. Okay. Now we have motor impairment. Motor impairment says ki if the problem is with the hands so that people cannot utilize a keyboard or mouse in a uh, proper way. So, and the reasons behind that can be anything like paralyzed, uh, major injuries and all. So, these are the disabilities or the impairment that people are having and for helping them out, the technology work behind that, that is children assistive technology. Okay. So, let's start with the, uh, with the question that how to utilize these options. Okay. As you can see here, this can be used from the and access from the control panel. Actually, this is uh, control panel are used to customize the way of your keyboard, display and mouse function and many other function also that help somehow to the disabled people. See children, your book that is NCRT book refer only Windows 7 and XP that provide all the steps uh, considered from Windows XP or 7. But here I am going to tell you, uh, show you the process that we can do this option, utilize this option in Windows 10 as well. Okay. So let's have a look first of all that what are the features that relates to the uh, that consider as the accessibility option. Here we have related some keyboard uh, that is sticky key, filter key, toggle key and for sound tab that is sound sentry and for display tab high contrast and mouse key also. So let's start with the first that is sticky key. See children sticky key says that it allow the user to press and release a modifier key. See children remember the modifier key. See whatever the keys like control, shift that we are pressing with another keys, they are modifier key. Okay. And these modifier key, we need to press it together. Like so, uh, suppose you select karna hai, select all. So everyone knows ki select all, control plus A. But the restriction is this, ki tumhe select control and A, ek saath click karna hota hai. Then only the work will done. Okay. But see, if some people are suffering with the disabilities and they are not having their fine control with their hands and finger and they are not able to press the uh, control as well as the another key A or R at the same time, then, then this sticky key will help and how? See, sticky key allow to press the control separately and press the E separately. See here you can see the steps that involve in window uh, XP and here I am going to show you that how it is useful, uh, it can be used in 10 also. Here you can see and you all know that in computer, there are different ways to do different ways. 
so you can go through the control panel also the control panel then ease of access then all the features and i'm going directly from here that is and now you can see here ease of access keyboard setting just click on this and now at the very first you can find the use sticky key by default it is off here ab main isko on kar deti hu you can see abhi maine isko on kar diya तो साइड बाय साइड बहुत सारे यहाँ पर जो ऑप्शंस हैं वो इनेबल हो गए हैं अब हमारा मेन फंक्शन क्या है कि सपोज हम किसी को सेलेक्ट ऑल करना चाहते हैं तो हम कंट्रोल अलग प्रेस करें और ए अलग प्रेस करें इट विल आल्सो वर्क टुगेदर तो चलिए थोड़ा सा मैं आपको शो कर देती हूँ कि हाउ इट विल वर्क एक्चुअली ओके तो लेट मी गो टू माई स्क्रीन एंड टास्क बार हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन माई नोट चिल्ड्रन ओके see this is my notepad and something is written here okay now my task is ki how to select all for select all we need to press control plus a i'm not going to press control and a together i'm going to press control individually see iske sath ek sound bhi paya hoga wo bhi aapko sunai diya hoga now i'm going to press a see it is selected so in this way all the other combination key we can utilize are by the use of sticky key okay in the same way we can use another key also but before that let me uh, just disable all the functions otherwise it will create problem for the uh, when we don't want these type of functions okay so sticky key i am going to off the sticky key i hope you understand the sticky key in fact it only allow that you can press the uh, modifier key separately and all the other task key separately okay come for the next our next is filter key yes children this uh, is also again helping to the hand trimmer people who are not having their control with their hands jinke haathon mein shivering hogi ya control nahi hoga us tarah ke logon ke liye this is useful okay uh, what happen in this that filter ki actually it restrict you to repeated keystroke to so, ye repeated keystrokes ko avoid karta hai now the the thing is ki what is repeated keystroke and how to avoid see children sometimes it happens ki uh, suppose i have written yes uh, uh, cat cat so sometimes the people some people are having uh, that problem they are typing the tt at twice and that is not required then again he is going to uh, just uh, erase it and processing so that what the resultant is their typing speed is get slow and slow so we are going to help them by the use of filter key so what filter key does it is just restricting or it is just stopping the repeated key strokes so definitely uh, the typing speed will also improve so here also you can see uh, that uh, here the step uh, steps are given for the uh, this one for the window 7 now i am going to uh, take you in my, the other screen jahan par main aapko dikha dun ki how this is also used again children go to accessibility option okay here click on this and you can see first we have already done that is sticky key and next we have uh, another key also and we have another key to now you need to go to filter key just i am clicking on filter key i am searching for filter key print a screen shot and now this we have so you can see here this is filter key it is also off by default now i am going to on देखिए अभी मैंने इसको ऑन कर दिया है और ऑन करने के साथ बहुत सारे ऑप्शन से जो ऑन हो गए हैं अब नाउ द पॉइंट इज कि सपोज आई हैव डन समथिंग बाय मिस्टेक सपोज टी आर ई टी आर डबल ई देर तो इंटरशनल आई हैव टू राइट टी आर ई ई एंड समाइम बाय मिस्टेक डबल ई हैज रिटर्न और डबल टी हैज रिटर्न और सम अनदर वर्ड हैज रिटर्न बाय बाय डिफॉल्ट फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम देन वॉट टू डू first of all go and click on filter key make it on and then again i'm going to show you that how to utilize this uh filter key filter key karne se ho kya raha hai filter key karne se kya hota hai ki aapka jo uh 
एक भी एक जो बटन है जो रिपीटेड की स्ट्रोक्स को स्टॉप करता है तो मैं आपको नोट पैड में दोबारा लेके चलती हूँ और नोट पैड से शो कर देती हूँ कि क्या इफेक्ट हो रहा है ओके सपोज यहाँ पर अभी हमने फिल्टर की यूज करना है एज आई टोल्ड यू कि फिल्टर की आपको रिपीटेड की स्ट्रोक को अवॉइड करता है रोकता है तो आई एम राइटिंग सी ए टी आई हैव रिटर्न डबल टी आई कांट आई एम राइटिंग ट्री टी आर डबल ई ट्री टी आर डबल ई आई हैव राइट डबल ट्री डबल ई बट इट डिस्प्ले ओनली एट वंस बट आफ्टर अ वाइल आई एम राइटिंग देन इट प्रेस इट इज आई एम एबल टू प्रेस ई इट मीन्स कि अगर मिस्टेक से गलती से मैं एक ही की को डबल डबल प्रेस करती हूँ तो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू अपेयर ओके लाइक ए ए ए आई एम जस्ट सिंपली टाइपिंग ए ए नथिंग इज हैपन आफ्टर अ वाइल वी कैन टाइप देन इट विल बी डन तो इन दिस वे इट स्टॉप्स द रिपीटेड की स्ट्रोक्स सो दैट अ टाइपिंग स्पीड कैन बी इम्प्रूव्ड तो इन द वे वी कैन यूटिलाइज ऑल द अदर की टू ओके तो दिस इज एक्चुअली द यूज ऑफ फिल्टर की नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज टगल की सी चिल्ड्रन वी एवरी वन नोज दैट कैप्स लॉक नाम लॉक एंड स्क्रॉल लॉक दीज आर दी टगल की एंड वॉट हैपन वंस यू मेक इट प्रेस इट इनेबल द फंक्शन इट मीन्स इट इज ऑन एंड अगेन एट द नेक्स्ट टाइम यू आर गोइंग टू प्रेस द सेम बटन और सेम की दैन इट मेक इट डिसेबल जो फंक्शन होता है वो ऑफ हो जाता है Now you think कि why it is used here? See children, this is used here because for the helping to the other, जो vision impairment के लोग होंगे उनको नहीं पता चलता कि अभी ये on है या अभी off है So it will be good if high sound emit while making it on and low sound emit while pressing it and acting as एट off. So for this it is also considered as a here you can see the steps. and as i shown you earlier you can use here also from the accessibility option from the ease of access it's your wish from the control panel or from the direct uh, run time so you can use it from the that is toggle key another is children sound sentry sound sentry is designed to help user with auditory impairment sound sentry generate the visual warning such as blinking turtle bar or flashing border whenever your computer generate a sound see if the people are suffering with the auditory impairment so what's the use of their uh, sound and beeps he or she they to always want then some warning that can be in a form of blinking in a form of light so this facility will help to those people who are suffering with auditory impairment they want the blinking and the flashing of light is also important that and after making the sound sentry enable it can be done here you can see the steps of window 7 and in the same way as i had i have done earlier we can use the sound sentry enable from the ease of access from the control panel okay now see children another one is high contrast see children high contrast is useful about the uh, uh, even for every people that we also can set the contrast of my system as per my eyes what my, the color combination and the contrast and the brightness is suitable for my eyes that i can set it and everybody can set it accordingly okay yes now one another most important thing a uh, very important thing that is serial key see children somehow to we are providing help so that they can use in this way or that way but the problem comes when the person is not at all able to use keyboard as well as mouse so if a person is not able to use keyboard and mouse then how these feature or the button or the simple functions can help them no it is not so for that children if person is not having hand then what to do then children for that purpose another input output devices are coming and we are making it attached uh, with the system and another input and output combination can be given to the system and this can be installed and after that with the help with the combination and enable the serial key it can be run so that another devices that can be take a sip or puff or your breathing as a input 
and it can be added with a serial port. So by this feature, by this thing, the person having disabilities, they are also very uh, easily use the system and utilize the system in all the way of their life. Okay, so th this much only for this session. I hope this session will be able to accessibility option. Okay, children, thank you.